Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope that you're all doing so well. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Oh, here I am on the creaky chair again. Oh my gosh. All right, as you can see from the title today, I'm going to be doing a houseplant haul. This was originally, I kind of skipped June and I'm just doing it in July now. It's just gonna be a collective haul from June and up until now in July. I did get some several wish list plants actually so I'm so excited to show these off to you guys. I also want to mention that I did post an unboxing um, earlier this week and I'm not going to be showing those plants just because they literally look the exact same. They're still in the sphagnum moss and everything. There's been no changes so those were five more plants that I received this month um, but if you have not watched that unboxing I recommend you go do that because I got some really awesome plants. But uh, for this video, I'm just going to be showing you the other ones that I have accumulated. So let's just hop right into it. Okay, I don't even know what I should show first. Maybe let's just dive right into it. I've already posted this one on Instagram, so some of you may have already seen it. But this is my new absolute baby. I cannot believe that I have this plant. I actually even have more pieces. Um, so hopefully, you know, we can make this guy a little bit more full, but they are just, um, callousing right now. I have some, I'm actually making a whole video about rooting these up. So, uh, that's obviously going to be spanning over an amount of time. So I don't know when that's going to be up. It could be a couple of months down the road, but, um, oh my gosh, I haven't even said what this is. <laughs> This is a monkey tail cactus, which I'm obsessed with and I have been looking for for quite some time. Um, I can never find anybody that sells these where I am. Uh, but finally, I have this little cutting and I think that it's at least starting to root up because it was like kind of limp before and now it's more erect. So something good is happening and it hasn't rotted. Um, I got this from one of my local plant friends here who totally spoils me. Uh, a lot of these things that I'm gonna show are actually from her. So yeah, but this is um, a piece of monkey tail that I have had for uh, a few weeks now and so far so good, doing really well. I have a bunch of other little pieces that just look like this right now that are just callousing over. And then I also have these two um, that I literally just put in soil. This one looks a little mm, questionable. Um, but yeah, so hopefully one day, you guys, I will have a little monkey tail cactus plant. I'm so, so grateful that I got those. Like that was a major wish list plant. So if you have one, I'd love um, any tips down below. I did join the Monkey Tail Cactus uh, Enthusiast Facebook group. Um, so I know about that. One of you guys told me about that, which is awesome. Anyways, moving along. Okay, why don't I show you my other little guys that I got from Erica as well. So, so this is my little, oh gosh, what are these called? What is the actual name for them? Hornia Zebrina, is that right? Let me check. Yeah, I think that's right, but I don't know if I'm saying it right. So these are also known as the butthole cactus um, because of their blooms. I'll insert a photo of their blooms on the screen, but they look pretty wild. If this thing ever blooms for me, I'm just gonna be like, oh my gosh. Very cool plant. I can't wait to see this grow. It originally started with just this one, I think. And then she gave me two more cuttings um, that I popped in there. But yeah, I don't think that they're rooted yet or anything. So they're just chilling. I'm just babying them. Um, these are all going to be in that video about rooting um, succulents. So such a cool one that I didn't have before. And I also, I might as well mention this now. Um, she also gave me a little tiny variegated version. Is that not just like the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like what the heck it's so cute i didn't even know that there was a variegated version of this plant so neat so that is those and then um i also got mouse tail cactus also rooting up very cute and along with that rat tail cactus look at him he looks a little I don't know, he doesn't look the best. Well, the end of him looks okay, but yeah, I don't know, I'm monitoring. Um, but this is rat tail cactus and it's so cute. So I'm really hoping that it makes it, but you know, this is all a learning experience. 
these are all like cactus that I've wanted so much too so I can't believe I just like got them all in one go it's just like boom all of a sudden I have all of these plants that I've been wanting um and then there's this guy this looks a little wrinkled too um I don't even know what this is I I want to guess like a stipelia of some sort maybe I'm not really sure maybe one of you guys can let me know what this little dude is um kind of spiky guy there and then I have another succulent. I don't know what this one is either. He's kind of like round, kind of bulbous. Um, cute little guy also rooting up in there. Not sure on the ID, comment down below if you know. And I think that's it for my cactus succulent situation that are rooting up here. They've just been living on my kitchen table. They get pretty good light and it's warm, so yes. And then I do have a few wishlist Hoya, but maybe I'm gonna break that up um, with my plants that I picked up at uh, my local plant shop. Yeah, I'll do these ones first and then I'm gonna do the wishlist Hoya last. Um, okay, so this is the first one that I have to show. Look at how beautiful she is. So I finally got it, you guys. I got my red veined Maranta. I have never had one of these. I have the lemon lime, um, and I always admire when people have a big full pot of the red veined one. I don't know what it is. I just, it's just like, I don't know. I think it's cause it's darker maybe. Like I like the darker vibe. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited that I found this. This is only $4.50. It was blooming. Um, you just missed it. It was blooming up until like yesterday or something. I'm actually going to be washing this all up and repotting it today. So I'm very excited about that. But yeah, I'm just so excited to see this gal grow. I think that they're so beautiful. She looks really healthy. This is like one of the nicest ones that I could find in the store. Has two new leaves coming in. And yeah, I'm obsessed. Love her. I'm on such a Maranta and Calathea thing. I have a Calathea to show next. Okay, so the next plant that I got is also another plant that I have never owned before and it is a rattlesnake Calathea. Look at how cute. I can't. She's so stinking cute. It's so little. They had bigger ones, but I'm just obsessed with small plants right now. Like I love how compact this one is. I mean, I'm, it'll grow and that's the goal obviously but um I just appreciate like growing it from small I just think she is such a cutie look at her has the dark undersides I think it's so adorable I'm really appreciating Calathea lately um and you know if you just put in the effort to keep them watered consistently and treat uh pro or at least check for pests um then like it's, it's not that bad for me. The, my tap water is pretty good here. I just give them tap water and I haven't had any problems. Like my Calathea medallion is absolutely thriving right now. It's huge, massive, beautiful. Um, so I'm just like feeling trying out some different Calathea. Um, I would love to add a few more species to my collection actually. So if you can suggest to me your favorite Calathea down below um, for me to look into getting. But for now, I just added this one to my collection. There's dirt falling out onto the floor. Okay, and then the last one I got, you guys, y'all won't even believe it. You won't even believe that I picked this up. Why does it look so unwell? It already hates me. I got a Peperomia. This is my only Peperomia that I own, and people always think that I am crazy for not owning any Peperomia. I was walking around uh, one of the plant stores after I went to the gym the other day because I was waiting for my ride, and I saw these, and I was like, she cute. Like... She cute. I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what type of peperomia this is. I'm assuming it's a super common um, type, but I don't know. I was just like, should I? Like I was, I was really digging the red backs and I was just like, should I just go for it and try it out? Cause I've never really grown one before. Um, so I picked her up. I'm a little concerned because why are her blooms so floppy? And she kind of looks like she's losing her color and she's really heavy. And I have not watered her since I got her a week ago. So I'm wondering if she might have been overwatered at the store. I don't know. I will keep you guys updated. I'm pretty sure from what I've heard, I know nothing about Peperomia really, but from what I've heard is that you um, kind of treat these as Hoya and let them dry out. So we'll see. I'm going to repot her today too. So yeah, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I do think she's cute though. And um, yeah, I don't know. 
I'm not into a lot of Peperomia like the way they look. I don't know. I'm just like not drawn to them. But this one, I do think it's cute. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but I do think it's cute. Um, and I'm just really curious about the experience of growing them. One that I do actually want though, that I never come across is the Peperomia Frost. Um, I don't really know like what the availability is like here where I live, but I don't really see them in stores. So I'm assuming they're not like super common, but I would pick that one up as well if I saw it. Anyways, starting a new journey here, you guys. Peperomia life. Okay, so next, you guys, are my wishlist Hoya. I can't even believe it. Um, I bought these earlier this week and they just got here a couple of days ago. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go, okay. Okay, do you see her? This is my Hoya Compacta Mauna Loa. Um, so this is the variegated version, like the inside is variegated, if you can see. Um, so I have the variegated compacta, like the regular one where the margin is variegated. I've heard this one is a better grower and this already, like I just received this and this is like four times the size of my other variegated version. So I've really been wanting this one just after hearing that it's a little bit, um, little bit faster growing and more tolerant and, um, I just heard good things. So really hoping that that's the case. It did show up like a little bit wrinkled and I've given it a drink and it's still kind of wrinkled. So I don't know if it's that's still just like from shipping or I don't know, but the roots look okay because I can see the roots. I put it in this plastic one because I really want to monitor it. I can see the roots and they are like white and healthy. You can see right there. So we'll see, I'm sure she will bounce back. I'm so excited to have this plant. Yeah, I kept trying to get this at the Crystal Star Nursery restock and um, I tried to get this and another plant that I got and they would just sell out. So yeah, I'm so excited to finally have this one. And then I might as well show you my other, this has been like one of my top wishlist Hoya for honestly like a couple of years now and they're just very, very scarce where I am, um, very hard to find. And this one would sol sell out at Crystal Star Nursery like that. Like I they'd have their restock at 4 p.m. and I would be checking out at 4.01 and it would be a sold out. So here it is, you guys. This is my Hoya Serpens. I cannot believe that I have this. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. These are really cool to see in person, you guys, because you can really see why I got the name. Like the leaves literally look like snake heads. Look, you can see right there with like the ridges. Like what the heck? It's so unique. I think it's so adorable, so dainty, and I just love it. It's just like ugh, witchy vibes, am I right? Like what the heck? I'm so excited that I have this. I've heard that they can be more finicky. Um, I was told they like to be a little bit more moist, like the Hoya Bella and high humidity. So I have it living in my greenhouse cabinet right now. But just say a prayer for me, you guys, because I do not want to lose this. I'm just going to baby it. Um, why isn't it focusing? There we go. Yeah, very excited that I was able to find this. And then the last one I'm going to show you, it was not on my wish list, um, but my friend convinced me. She has one and it's so beautiful and she was like, you're not going to regret it. So I got this one and I totally agree. I can totally see what she's talking about. This is a variegated um, Hoya Hush Kaliana. Um, and it has some insane variegation, like the different shades of green that are in the leaves. It's so beautiful. This one looks so healthy. Um, I'm super happy that I got it. It is a very, very good looking Hoya. I will definitely say that. I'm just so excited to get these all settled in and watch them grow. I was just cleaning up uh, after I finished filming and I forgot that I wanted to just show a couple of pots that I grabbed this month as well because I don't know, I just think if I pick up like plant related things, maybe I can include it in my hauls. So I'm just gonna stitch this footage in somewhere, but this is a pot that I picked up. I got this from Little Tree when I grabbed the Calathea and Red Maranta. If you're on the island, um, Little Tree Garden Center is one of my favorite plant shops. It's this kind of like, I don't know how to describe this, almost like a gold or like camel brown, 
mixed with mustardy kind of vibe um but i really loved this pot when i saw it and i'm so picky with pottery you guys like i never i never really find pots that i like and there was multiple pots that i liked when i was there the other day so um of course i had to pick up a couple but this is the first one i just love the vibe i don't know i just think that it's gonna look really good in my space and this kind of color also really complements greens, so I'm sure that a plant is going to look so cute in here. I have no idea what I'm going to pot in here yet. Um, I would like to maybe use it as a reservoir, but I don't know if it's going to be... Get the receipts out. I don't know if it's going to be um, watertight. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say, but I could try it out. That's the first one that I grabbed. And then I just grabbed a little tiny one because I thought it was so cute. Um, so this is it right here. It has, I don't know if these are lemons or oranges, some type of fruit pattern on it. It's so stinking cute though. I love fruit patterns on things, like anything, home decor, clothing, whatever. I just think it's so cute. Um, so I had to pick up this little guy. This looks like I'll be able to use it as a reservoir of some type. It looks like it should hold water. But yeah, it's just a tiny little guy, but I had to grab it. So these are my two pot finds. I'm trying to incorporate like more eclectic and different types of pots into my collection. I went through, you know, most of my collection is in terracotta and I like only wanted terracotta, but now I kind of appreciate when people have like a weird mixture of different pots and stuff. So it's kind of what I'm going for now. Anyways, I'm gonna roll the end clip now. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed my haul. I got some, I have just been getting like some crazy plants lately. I feel so lucky and grateful for all the plants that I have. And I'm just so excited to take care of them all and watch them all grow. Um, leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel on the YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.